Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I couldn't tell if it was on or not. How you doing? It's your girl Pinky. Welcome back to our daily devotional. This is October the 11th, 2022. And we are bringing a word called nourishment. If this is your first time here, I need you to uh, give a thumbs up, watch the devotional all the way to the end, and then share it with somebody you love. Or even somebody you don't love. But you should be loving everybody because God is loving. If God is on the inside of you, you ought to be demonstrating his love. Even to, especially to your haters. Um, if you're not a part of the family, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, brothers, sisters, children, grandchildren, grandparents. If you're not a part of the family, I want to invite you to go ahead on and hit that notification button over there. And then... Uh, You know, ring that bell. Hit the button and ring the bell. Amen. Let's jump right on into this devotional because it's a good one today. And I know y'all say I say that every day because every day is good. It gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled. Girl, don't you know that's real? Don't you know that is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? That's Matthew 5 and 6. What is your usual response when you are hungry? Do you become irritated or unwilling to engage in conversation? I don't know about y'all, but when I get hungry, I don't want to talk to nobody because I be right about ready to take a head off because uh, I can eat a toe, a foot, an arm. When you get hungry, you kind of get uh, bewildered and discombobulated. That's why I try not to get too hungry, let myself go too long without eating. Do you start to feel like you don't have energy for any of the things you are doing? You just get weak and depleted. We need food to nourish us and to keep us going throughout the day physically and mentally. No food, you act cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Girl, go make yourself a sandwich. Brother, go get you some ramen noodles and cut up a hot dog. You know how y'all do it. Cut up a hot dog and put some mixed vegetables up in there. You got a whole meal in five minutes. Yes, to get that hunger satisfied in the same way just like it is we have to feed our body we got to feed our spirit as well we need the spiritual food to keep us nourished encouraged and able to persevere if you are feeling spiritually empty you feel like you ain't heard god in a month of sundays you feel like you don't know if you coming or going if you in or out up or down Toe up from the flow up, messed up from the neck up. It's probably because, because you need to be fed spiritually. You need to just open up your Bible, put you on some worship music. Just start dancing in the presence of the Lord. Read a scripture, call somebody that you know can pray. And uh, send, ask them to send up a prayer with you to touch and agree with you in prayer that you will get it together. I have had to do that. I have had to get in a hurry to get to church or to find something on YouTube that would encourage me. Um, when I take my long trips, I don't have a CD player in the Jeep where I miss that because I would get on the road and put that CD player on, put them CDs on, and God would just minister to me till I got wherever I was going. And now it's just God speaking, not the person on the CD. It's Him ministering to me. So, if you're spiritually hungry, it's because you're lacking the Word. Get in the Word, and get fed, and get filled. Amen. So, until next time, go ahead on and hit that button, and then um, ring that bell. Thank you for... Uh, giving us a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this devotional. If you're not a part of the family, go ahead on, honey. Hit the button. Hit the button and then, um, yeah, ring the bell. Until next time, God bless you. See you tomorrow.